Thanks for having us back this year. We did the badges last year, the UFO, if you recall. Uh, so a lot of similarity inside. There's uh, Circuit Python running on here. Um, but this year, we did a little bit something different. So the whole one of the themes that we were given for RootCon was uh, basically building connections between people and then leaving a digital footprint. So if you saw in your bag already, wow. <laughs> All right, he's my designated drinker while I keep talking. Uh, yes. Okay, good. Yum. That's all you got? Oh. <laughs> Where was I? Okay, so leaving a digital footprint. So in your bag, there is a stereo, uh, or not stereo, but a mono aux cable labeled RootCon. Unfortunately, there's a small uh, hardware defect that will, those won't work. But if you get a stereo audio cable, on yeah. the, you, you want to show here? Yeah, yeah, here. Why don't we show? Yeah, so on the, uh, think about how we do this. Mine's backwards. No, no, no. The other way. The other way. Yeah, you need to do yours the other way, too. So if you connect the badges together, you can actually send whatever pattern you're playing on your badge to your neighbor's badge. What's cool is when you do that, that badge will then repeat it. So you can create a long string of these things playing the same pattern together. As you, as you connect them together, you actually get points. And so there's a scoreboard on there. Uh, definitely yeah. recommend you give it a try. Uh, I'm willing, I have one that I, the cable actually works, so I'll, I'll connect to anybody. Yeah. Um, you want to go? Uh, so one of the other things we wanted to do was kind of, it's not just the patterns you have. If you connect it to a laptop and open a COM, a serial port to it, um, you can give it your own messages. You can change the bling modes that way and store which bling modes and messages you want for it to show when you boot it up again. Uh, one of the things we added was just normal printable ASCII text, but then we also added a few uh, additional characters and a couple emojis as well that you can define either um, in the terminal by just copy and pasting the emoji character. Not all emojis work, only a few certain ones. Um, or you can do it by the Unicode uh, designation as well. So the last thing I want to say was, so the whole badge runs Python. So take it home, hack on it, open up the REPL, uh, we're, I think last year we released the firmware for the badge. We'll do the same thing this year. Have fun with it. Uh, I'd love to see people create something kind of new and interesting. It's a Raspberry Pi Pico if you've used those before. The last thing, these uh, face plates you've seen, a lot of the goons wearing, as well as myself, uh, we'll put those STLs out there. Great to see people print and make their own. Uh, I came up with those STLs about three weeks ago. So this is very last minute. How many can we print and get out to the attendees? It's been a lot of fun to see both root con printing stuff and then also what some of my friends have printed out. So thank you everyone for having us. It's been great being in the Philippines for a second year. We'd love to do it again if they'll have us. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, no, thanks again. I'm gonna run away before they give me another drink. It's probably smart. <laughs>